The In The Blues forum is continually growing, which has been awesome. So I thank everyone who's involved in keeping that community going over there as well. We've had uh, 311 people join now, which is really cool. And there's 3,000 topics, so there's lots going on. I keep adding things as people um, suggest different categories and all that kind of thing as well. So I've recently added a gear player profile section so you can you know tell everyone what you use and you can have a chat about gear and all that kind of stuff as well. So there's lots going on over there. I've also got the official thread of Mustang Mondays over there too. So instead of searching through YouTube, if you want, you can just head straight over to intheblues.net and go down to the solid state and modeling amplifier section. And then simply right at the top of that thread, I've got it stickied, the official Mustang Monday video thread. So you can check that out. And one thing that's pretty funny, I gotta say too, is um, there's been a lot of guys copying my patches and putting them back up on Fuse unedited. I don't understand why people do that, but anyway, all good. That's what it's all about. Everyone can share patches around and all that kind of thing, but it was brought to my attention that, uh, yeah, people were doing that. But the cool thing is all the links to my YouTube channel, all that are in there. So go nuts if you want to re-upload them and modify them. I don't really care. So it's one of those things you can feel free to do that as you please. Mustang Monday is still going. It's going strong for the next few weeks. And if you're a 335 fan, you're definitely going to love the next few. I'm not sure if I'll do any more after this. I'm kind of coming to the end. There are lots of requests for different players, but... I don't know. I'm kind of better finding the tones of the guys that I like. I know that sounds kind of um, boring maybe, but I, I know in my head what I'm trying to do. If I'm giving uh, someone else's um, sound that I'm not too familiar with, it's it's hard, a lot harder for me to try to emulate that because I'm not sort of familiar with how to get that sound, I guess, is, is the biggest thing. But yeah, I've tried my best to give everybody loads of these patches and maybe my last video for Mustang Monday will be how I actually go about getting these sounds and the process behind it because that'd be fun. Then everyone can sort of take the approach that I have to getting these sounds as well. A lot of the time I do use another amplifier right next to the Mustang or other times I use um, you know, a recording that I've got you know, I've got my studio monitors right here as well, so I play back through that and I get the try to get the best sound I can. But yeah, it's been a, a good uh, positive thing, the Mustang Monday, and I'm going to try to come up with something else that will appeal to other people as well. So yeah, Mustangs, still going strong. I've got my Swamp Thing in the back of mine right now, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. i got to say though, I did put the stock speaker back in there for a while and I did that when I did all the Mustang Mondays. I've got a few queued up as well that are already finished. And the stock speaker sounds great. The The only advantage to the Swamp Thing is it's just that little bit fatter and rounder sounding. It might not be what you want though. So take that into consideration. If it, uh, you don't need to swap the speakers out, the stock speaker is really cool. And once you use it a fair bit, it... Uh, it sounds even better and apologies for my throat and all that today i'm actually a little bit under the weather but if you do have any suggestions for future mustang mondays feel free to let me know i'm just not 100 percent sure right now when i'll do more it's only when the inspiration hits so if i'm a little bit quiet on gear demos i'll generally try something else so it's uh caught up with a lot of my demos right now and uh yeah the mustangs i wonder actually sort of off topic I wonder if it's almost time for another Mustang to be coming out. I heard rumors a while back that there's going to be a version um, 3 coming out. So that should be interesting. I'm keen to sort of see what they do with that and how they make it different. And on the subject, I was watching a Hartley Peavy interview recently where he was talking about a new amp that sort of sounds like the Kemper profiling amplifier, but at a reasonable price. I think it's going to be... You know, probably in Australian dollars at least, maybe six or seven hundred dollars, maybe somewhere around a PV Bandit's price, like a new PV Bandit, not an old, like not a new used one. I know in the US, PV Bandit's like two fifty, and you can buy them like second hand for about sixty bucks. But uh, yeah, this is you know where I live, it uh, it gets expensive. But 
I heard he, he basically said that these amps will be able to replicate anything. He didn't really go into details, but he said it's not like um, conventional modeling technology like what's out now. So my guess is that if you take this amp or whatever you could record or maybe download other people's patches, much the same as how the Mustang 3 works, but they might actually be referenced off other different amplifiers. I'm not really too sure. Or maybe you can customize it your own. Maybe you can mic up someone else's amp, record the tones straight into the amp, and it does a very similar thing like the, the Kemper does. Who knows? But it should be interesting. And it'll it'll be one of those things where, you know, it might be good to have an alternative to the Mustang out there. It might do something else extremely well. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to checking that out as well. I don't even know what they're called, but I have heard them um, Hartley PV talking about that on YouTube. So it should be interesting. So let me know which modeling amp you use right now, or solid state amp. There's quite a few good ones going around right now. There's the Mustangs, there's a couple of PVs, solid state amps as well. You know, you can't go wrong with the PV Bandit. You can also, the Roland Blues Cube is another one that's doing the rounds. I actually tried one of those out. Um, I thought it sounded good. I, I wasn't overly blown away by it, to be honest. I think it, um, for the price too, it's maybe way too expensive for what you're buying. I don't think it's as loud as a Mustang 3 either. And those blind, not blind tests, and those um, AB tests that they did on uh, another channel on YouTube, against the Mustang and the Blues Cube. They obviously didn't have any idea how to set up the Mustang. They must have used some stock crap preset that comes with it. Um, because honestly, if I took my Mustang 3 and put it next to a Blues Cube, I reckon it'd blow it out of the water, but that's, uh, that's just me. The Blues Cubes look extremely cool though. So I wonder whether or not Fender might uh, tweetify their Mustang 3 um, amps on the next series. That would be pretty cool. Mm -hmm.